Hello Pisces and welcome to your January 2022 general reading. Now 2022 as a number doesn't quite flow yet <laughs> after saying 2021 for so long. In any case what we will do here is we will divide the video in sections so it is easier um, to sort of understand it and obviously the video is timestamped so it makes it easier for you. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of January 2022 before we will then go into our emotions. So there could be emotional trauma that can go, it could be about love, right? So that's the middle section of this three part reading, so to speak. And then the last section is uh, or will be opportunities as they present themselves to you for the months of January 2022. And opportunities, for the most part, uh, will be about whatever it is that sustains you financially, right? So, but before we do all of this, let's just look at January 2022 quickly. Now, on the 2nd of January 2022, there will be a new moon. So, which is perfect, because that means you can begin the year anew by actually planning uh, something properly. So what I'm getting for all of us, because I'm a Pisces, I am a Piscean too, is to not linger all that much about 2021 or whatever happened even before that. Oftentimes the general reading, the general readings are about reflecting, and I'm not sure whether or not this shows up here, but the first message because based on just the energy that all star signs um are being presented with is literally because of the new moon right plan your future manifest now the new moon is particular and peculiar because the new moon obviously means that the moon is not illuminated that absolutely zero light and then will take two weeks and half a day from the new moon to the full moon when the, light, when the moon is fully illuminated. What that means is because there is no light and you're manifesting um, stronger around the new moon and then the light comes in slowly, whatever it is you're manifesting might take some time to actually fully come to fruition. Yes, so that's just about manifestation. But when it comes to mm, making plans, this is all about plans, what I'm hearing is, making plans for 2022. It don't have to be for the whole year, right? Because it is important to be in the now as well. But it is really important to focus on what it is you want to happen in January, simply because on the 4th of January, we are at what is called a perihelion, which means that our blue planet, the Earth, is actually closer or closest to the Sun. Since the Sun is your star sign and your sun sign, whatever sign the sun was in, gave you your sun sign and your star sign. Basically means because the sun gives us life, gives us energy, and on the 4th of January already, the earth is very close to the sun. So we're getting an energy boost <clears throat> in, the, in the first week of January, which makes an awful lot of sense. So um, don't linger. Don't start things off super slow because it would make sense, especially for the sign of the dreamer, which means at times for Pisceans, we take our time, even though we are determined at times, we are dreamers. So we take things slow-ish, which is normally a really good thing. But because of the perihelion on the 1st of 4th, sorry, of January, it makes an awful lot of sense to actually look at what it is you want, um, make planned say it out loud, say to yourself and say it out loud, that's what I'm going to, to manifest, that's what I want, um, and use the energy that comes along with it, okay? So, shall we have a look? So here is what we got for the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the sign of Pisces. Let's have a look. <laughs> hmm. All right, we have the sacred tree and smoke, right? As nice as this is, everything I just said about planning, 
we are being reminded nonetheless that we are the sacred tree, part of the part of the the fabric of space. So what the what the sacred tree is uh, means is absolutely the energy will be stronger on January the fourth, super strong. So for manifestation purposes, it's great, but we are being asked. <laughs> I was hoping we wouldn't be. Anyway, we are being asked. Um, not necessarily to disregard the energy that the 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 first week of January gives us, um, but to realize that what we need to be, even if we are kicking ass, <laughs> is to be grounded and also to understand that we are connected. Um, for whatever who, whoever whatever Piscean is listening to this or watching this. If you feel a bit isolated and a bit alone, what the sacred tree denotes is connectivity and being connected to others. So please remember, you're not alone. The other thing about the sacred tree is understanding that you are a spiritual being that has a physical experience, if that makes sense. And because the sacred tree has these roots that go everywhere and connect with other trees, as you can probably see here, the message for all of us is to actually reach out to others, but reach out to like-minded people. Maybe there's too much going on with people that don't really, that don't really, that aren't really on your on your hemshi, that don't really understand you. And all the, the 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 guides are saying to us is, be with like-minded people. Start off the new year by understanding who your tribe is, because you have smoke or we have smoke as the outgoing energy for the over energy. And smoke literally means, you know, cleanse. So we have to cleanse our energies, we have to cleanse our auras, we have to cleanse the places where we do the thinking. Um, and I also get here with smoke that it is important to reflect, however briefly, on who isn't really part of your tribe. I said that earlier with the sacred tree here. Really important to understand if you allow people that you know aren't really your people to take your energy, that's on you, right? So trust that if you feel you want to uh, experience something else that you will find your tribe. Because the sacred tree is literally telling you, you are the sacred tree. You will connect to your tribe. Okay, that was the overall energy for the month of January 2022. You're watching Thomas Taro, Thomas's Taro page. Um, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can support me now by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Um, you can probably hear my voice isn't so great. That's uh, because um, my asthma <laughs> is totally shit at this time of year. In any case, let's move on to the emotional chord or emotional core, whatever it is the guys have to say with regards to emotions. Let's see what they got for all of us. Very interesting. We have the Wolverine and the white tail deer. I'm not getting the feeling that January is the time for releasing an awful lot. I don't get it. I don't get for us that January um, is the time to sort of just sit there, if that makes sense, and let go of what no longer serves us because we have the Wolverine as the very first energy. Now, the Wolverine is sort of an animal that is sort of between a weasel and a wolf, if that makes sense. So evolutionary, evolution-wise evolution speaking, um, we are still evolving, we're still making progress. And while it is important to let things go, this is about anything that has to do with manifesting love or rekindling love to, at this point in time, to keep going, if that makes sense, keep climbing, maybe even climb so you get a vantage point 
to see if what you're trying to hold on to actually makes sense, if that makes sense. But I'm not getting for us Pisceans in January to stop anything because you might feel something has to leave you. So while it is important, obviously, to, to, to cleanse, we had smoke earlier in the over energy, what I'm getting for anything to do with your emotional core, it makes more sense to let the grief go, to let the old pain go, while you're actually looking at what it is you want with regards to love. Because we have the white-tailed deer, really interesting animal to have that in the intersection of love or emotions. Because the white-tailed deer is saying to you, what makes the most sense is to not be stressed about anything. So if you are a person that is already in touch with someone, um, January, while it is a kick-ass month and we have the kick-ass planet Jupiter in Pisces for uh, quite some time in 2022, um, it is important in January just to relax around things a little be more observant, if that makes sense. And at the same time, don't forget that the Wolverine, Wolverine is saying, keep climbing, you're not there yet. Right? So I'm not hearing for us Pisceans to take another, whatever that means, another two months off and try and heal, if that makes sense. Yes, sometimes you have to make time for healing. But with regards to your emotional core, and I'm not getting any old pain here. I'm getting new beginnings or rekindling relationships you're in. And what I'm getting strongly is for us Pisceans to get that sorted and keep that going. Okay, that was that. Now we're going into the final um, part of the reading, which is um, opportunities as they present themselves to you. Um, <coughs> in the months of January 2022 and that is mostly I say mostly because I only work here <laughs> don't know what the guys have to say um, but it, this is normally about what, what, stay, what sustains you um, financially and sometimes the guides also tell you why things aren't working so let's have a look what else it is the guides want us to know with regards to opportunities wow okay <laughs> quite a lot here. We have the twin gods, we have the TP in the middle. The one in the middle is always the most important because it is surrounded by other two. And then the outgoing energy is the snake. In order for you to progress with anything that has to do with how you make your money, it is important to realize that you're not alone. Because we have the twin gods as the incoming energy, the way I read this, the way I understand the energy that is coming here, is to understand that you're not alone. It also makes sense to look at allies, someone that you can bounce all stuff off of and see what they feel is the next step should you need some guidance. Because the middle card, the middle energy with regards to opportunities is the TP. So what they're saying to you is, should you be at crossroads? Should you try and find a new place? The TP is home, is your new place. What they're saying is in order for you to progress at all and also for opportunities to find you, it is time for us Pisceans in January already um, to reflect and see if what it is you're doing for a living actually fulfills you and actually if this is your place if not with the tp in the middle in january it is super important for you to actually focus on finding manifesting and doing what it is you really want to do the reason why this is is because our outgoing energy our final card here is the snake which is the animal of health and protection. So what that means is, unless you find where you belong, unless you find, oh, this is what I am, this is what I'm going to do, this is where I feel I should be going. And I hear weird stuff sometimes. While I'm saying all this, 
the guides are playing um, this is my church this is where I heal my hurts the, 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 for the night God is a DJ you know um, what, what was the name again <laughs> faceless right. tonight God is a DJ anyway that's what, what they're playing me here in my head um, but the phrase is this is where I heal my hurts this is my church so what, I, what that means is because we have the snake the outgoing energy so this is about healing what the guides are saying is if you find where you truly belong that's when you start to manifest opportunities and also that's when you start healing from not being in that place so if you haven't found yet who you are because you have the twin gods so we have the twin gods as the incoming energy i think it is super important to begin journeying, maybe even journaling, and and meditating again, to ask your guides for help, um, because what I'm seeing here as an energy is directed at us spiritual lot, where I sort of see the guides saying to you, we need more healers, you are a healer. So do what serves others. But understand that this is your nature. Don't be anywhere where you make someone else's dream. Take yourself seriously. Right? That's all I got, really. <laughs> right? So, yeah, that was your January 2022 general reading. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. Share the shit out of it. Because um, that is what helps the, the channel grow. Right? Thank you so much and I see you all very soon. Bye-bye.